Uh, here is, uh, speaking of uh, Trump care, here's Alex Azar. He's the uh, head of the Health and Human Services on um, CNN New Day. You know, Health and Human Services. They just basically keep track of things like how many people have been tested? How many people have? Well, like, do we know how many people have coronavirus in this, in this country? Well, we can't really know because there are people out there who have it and they don't know. And they wouldn't even know to come and get tested. Oh, okay. How many people have been tested? How many Americans have been tested at this point? Uh, we don't know exactly how many because uh, hundreds of thousands of our tests have gone out to private labs and hospitals that currently do not report into CDC. We're working with the CDC and those partners to get an IT reporting system up and running, hopefully this week, where we would be able to get that data to keep track of how many we're testing. Uh, we, we think we've got throughput at the moment, probably 10,000 a day or it could be getting tested by the end of the week, 20,000 a day, according to a study by AEI that I, that I heard about. We've We've got now 2.1 million tests available and 1.1 mm -hmm. million have shipped. Um, we actually have a surplus at the moment that are awaiting <laughs> orders uh, to be shipped. But you, up don't, you don't know? 1. You honestly don't know? You don't know how we, many people have been tested? Well, because a private vendor shipped most of those 1.1 million that shipped were from a private vendor selling to their customers, and those entities that use their tests do not have to report back to CDC, but we're trying to set up a reporting system where they would, in the, fact, uh, do that. The Atlantic, the Atlantic has made a bunch of calls to some of these organizations, and they estimate about 4,300 tests. 4,300 people have been tested. Does that seem ballpark accurate to you? I, I just wouldn't want to speculate. I'm listen. Pause He just speculated. He just said the AIE was saying it could be up to ten thousand a day. Now, if you think it's up to ten thousand a day, and this dude says to you, "Has it been forty three hundred over the weeks that we've been supposedly testing, which would come out to be about I don't know five hundred a day, ten thousand a day being twenty times less than that." Wouldn't you say, well, <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> I would want to speculate in a way that makes us look bad. 4,300 people have been tested. Does that seem ballpark accurate to you? I, I just wouldn't want to speculate. I'm, listen, my hallmark here is I'm going to tell you what I know, and I'm right. going to tell you what we do not know. We, um, we're about leveling with the American people and being transparent. And right now, I'm just telling you, when somebody sells a test kit to a private entity right now, we don't know when or if, it, if that's been used, but we are working with them to get that system set the, up. Uh, South Korea, right? South Korea, Monday, February 27th, 20, Monday, February 20th, their first case reported. Within a week, they were testing more than 10,000 people a day. So within a week, South Korea was testing 10,000 people a day. The first case of community transmission in the United States was February 27th, which is what, two and a half, three weeks ago? And we're still not testing 10,000 people a day. We may not have tested 10,000 people total. So well, why, John, why is you don't South know Korea? That, John. Why, well, but we're not. You just told me we're not testing 10,000 people a day. You said no, you hope by the end of the I week. Said, I said AI did a study saying there's throughput of at least 10,000 a day. They believe, but let's let's but be clear. But my question is, why was South Korea able to do this in a week? And it seems to be such a struggle for the United well, States. It's not about ability. It's about what they needed to do. They had an explosive, immediate outburst and cluster becoming. Imagine, like, like the guy is saying, "We're not. I'm not speculating, but uh, A E E I, this uh, right wing think tank is, and I'm happy to pass that on." And I don't know what that means. Like three throughput. Unbelievable. But how many more that private vendor can shove out the doors that you can't keep track of? North Carolina has 3,000 tests available. Oh, excuse me, 300. Ohio didn't even have any of this, this is, earlier this th week. This guy, is, they're, they're lying. They're it's just... unbelievable. how mu And here's the problem. Here's, here's the problem. This is going to, like, we don't know how many people are walking around with the, with the, with the virus right now. It has an R, what do they call R O two, which basically means it doubles like every day. And if we don't know how many people have it, we don't, we're not testing. So we can't take people off the sidelines. We can only like guess. Yeah. Well, this is the one, this is, this is, uh, this is what happened in Italy. And I, I, we did this chart yesterday, but yeah, it, it, it bears repeating. 
So today is March 10th. On March 7th, um, we hit where Italy was. So three days ago, we hit where Italy was uh, on February 25th. Eight days after February 25th in Italy, they shut all schools. So the equivalent for us would be March 15th. Oh, but we can't shut down our schools because a lot of students are poor and don't have anywhere else to eat. In, in New York City, something like 110,000 students are not just poor, they are homeless. And they rely on schools for their meals. Uh, by March 8th or 9th, the entire country has been shut down in Italy in terms of like um, restricting mo mobility. So that is like the functional equivalent of, you know, the, the ninth, like you're talking 14 days. Theoretically, that would be like mid-March here. But of course, we can't do that. And we have no idea how many cases there are. Um. Don't in, worry, they have a plan. In Kirkland, Washington, after uh, days of pleading for COVID-19 uh, in a nursing home in Kirkland, we finally got some and screened 35 of their residents. 31 came back positive. Uh, I mean, look, on one hand, apparently kids, they don't get it, they, but they can be carriers. People of my age, younger, it can hit them as like a bad flu that they get into the hospital. Older folks, it can be very, very dangerous and and lethal. Um, but it's also, we're talking about like what it's going to take now that we have given the virus a, such a head start, what it's going to take to contain it and the whole key to this is being able to flatten the the curve as it were the surge of cases so that our limited extra capacity in our hospitals which is very limited can handle we don't have like this huge rush it's almost like a rush on the banks if you will and but, you know, you can shut the banks and say, like, we're only going to give out, you know, $500 a day or something. You can't do that when it comes to medical care and not have people have real problems. So this is this is uh, hastening the virus through the system is exactly what you don't want to do. Well, exactly. Yeah, it's like ripping off a Band-Aid. I saw some people saying that uh, Mike Pence's plan is probably just to stall until he can figure out a way to blame the virus on gay people. Yeah, and I think uh, Trump's is to stall until he can blame it on Mike Pence. Yeah. Call from a 610 area code. Who's